David Staples here for some Cult of Hockey talk. Could the Edmonton Oilers actually acquire P.K. Subban seriously? Well, that's the talk burning up Twitter this morning. Let's dig in. It all starts with Louis Jean, hockey host for TVA Sports. He's on Twitter this morning, earlier. And he tweets out, he's, he's a guy who reports hockey trade rumors out of Quebec. He tweets out, Did the rounds to find out if Subban is on the market. One team executive said, his name has come up. Not suggesting Canadians will trade Subban, just saying one team confirmed Habs are gauging the market. So that got people talking and it got Bob McKenzie of TSN talking. He was on um, TSN 1260 here this morning. And here's what Bob McKenzie said. He was poo-pooing the trade rumor overall saying this sounds like something would happen later not sooner he's just wondering if it's going to happen at all but he did add an interesting thing about the dynamic of Subban in the Habs organization Mackenzie said I don't ever recall a player who is perceived to be that good who is so far on the wrong side of the coach and maybe management too yikes well he also mentioned McKenzie did uh, that after the uh, Habs lost to the Abs on Wednesday night, uh, Habs coach Michelle Terrian uh, singled out too bad for criticism and how unusual that is. And McKenzie said, Michelle Terrian isn't throwing that guy under the bus unless A, he knows that his general manager has his back and feels the same way that he does, and or B, and it may be both of these things, he knows that he's not going to blow up his dressing room. But he's not going to alienate the core players on the team by saying, something about one of those guys in the room. So McKenzie said all of that to him was telling. And yes, indeed, that sounds telling, like Subban has worn out his welcome with Terry and, and perhaps Montreal GM Mark Bergevin. So what does this all mean? Hey, could the Oilers use Subban? Yes, the Oilers could use Subban. This team is crying out for a right shot D-man and a player of that stature. That kind of offensive stature, uh, well, you know, this really is another rancid, horrible, rotten, no good, lousy season for the Oilers. So it is nice to think about P.K. Subban and Connor McDavid teaming up on the power play. So what would the Oilers offer? They are in a unique position, many, maybe out of any team in the NHL, to offer a really excellent package right away, right now, for Subban, if that's what the Habs are looking to do. The Oilers have all kinds of trading chips outside of Connor McDavid. And um, they also have the first, not the first overall pick in the 2016 draft. I was about to say that. They have their own first pick in the 2016 draft, which is going to be a, a really high pick and is a great bargaining chip. So who knows what's going to happen here? Uh, nice to think about on this uh, February winter morning when the Oilers were like they have for so many mornings in the last decade. I've stunk it out again. Maybe things will get better. Maybe the Oilers can make this kind of huge trade. For the Cult of Hockey, I'm David Staples.